I mean, have you guys ever drawn a real life anime character before? Because this is my first time. Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! So, how are you guys doing? I know a lot of you guys have been self-isolating and it's really hard to just stay inside and do nothing for a very long time. Since we're trapped in our house, I've been looking for things I could do by myself at home. I drew Sailor Moon on the wall right there a few videos back and I know a lot of you guys liked it. So maybe I can try it again with that wall in front of me. But this time it's going to be a real life-size anime drawing. Because it's hard to get the proportions right and you see all the flaws and everything, I think it's going to be a very great challenge and a practice for me. And today I'm going to try drawing Tanjiro from Kimetsu no Yaiba slash Demon Slayer. Well, it's going to be on my wall for a very long time so I might as well draw something that I really like. And currently I'm into Kimetsu no Yaiba so I want to draw Tanjiro on my wall. Anyways, without further ado, I don't know how long it's gonna take, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we'll see. Drawing a full-size anime character on my wall. So let's get started. This is the wall I'm going to be decorating today. Before anything, I'm going to be coating the wall using this wallpaper. <laughs> All you have to do is peel, place it on the wall like so, pull. And let's just smooth it all out. Okay, I think my canvas is ready. Our canvas is ready and all we need, a pencil and eraser. <laughs> let's start drawing. Oh my god, does this even work? <gasps> it works! <laughs> So I'm 145 or 4 foot 9 or 10 and apparently Tanjiro is 156 to 165. I mean he changes because he's growing throughout the story and so like around here. Yeah, I think that looks good. By the way, I'm just kidding about this pencil guys. Since some people have asked me what pencil I use, I use the Dr. Grip with a blue lead. I use blue lead because it's going to be easier to erase. And let's start with the rough draft. Because the lead is really light and the camera is so far away, I don't think the camera picked up anything. Let's get closer and darken the setting. Nope, I don't think you can see it. Can you? A little? By the way, I found out that it's really hard to draw on the wall with Dr. Grip. If you have Dr. Grip, you know that you shake it to get the lead out, but when you're drawing sideways, the gravity isn't working the right way and the lead doesn't come out. <laughs> so pro tip, don't use Dr. Grip on the wall. And I am done with the rough draft. Let's get up closer. It's kind of hard to see, but here's his face, his hair, and his body. He's resting his right hand on the katana. Here's his shoes. So it's literally his whole body. Oh my gosh, I've never drawn a person this big before. So here's real life size Tanjiro. Oh my gosh, look at my hand. Oh no, my sleeves. Oh, these are quite new. I mean, this is what you get for being an artist. And next up, we're going to be using a Sharpie to do his outline. Like so. I cannot mess this part up. Hey Minori, just a heads up. Next time, be careful when you're outlining because it's going to smudge. <gasps> no, no, wait, 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 wait. I had to use nail polish remover to get it off. Anyway, so the outlining begins. Since the rough draft was really light, I couldn't quite see the whole drawing from far away and that made me a little scared because I wasn't sure if the proportions were going to be okay. Spoiler alert, overall it wasn't the worst, but I did mess up the hair. A little bit. I tried to erase the lines with acetone, but it seems like I can erase some small smudges, but I can't erase the whole line. So yes, once drawn, it was permanent. I was just very nervous the whole time. But you know, it's more like a practice than anything. So, how does it look? I don't know. I mean, it's definitely not super off. I mean, have you guys ever drawn a real life anime character before? Because this is my first time. His head, body, and legs look kind of proportionate. I also kind of messed up his hair, so I will need to fix it while coloring it in. I mean, I guess so far so good. 
kind of. So this is how big the drawing actually is. I mean, if he stands next to me, I mean, this is quite big. I might have made him a little too tall. Let me check. Around 166. I mean, if you add in the hair, it's going to be 168. Um, he's supposed to be around 156 to 165. I think he may have grown a little bit. It's okay, he's still very young, so he's supposed to be growing. Yeah. Now that it's dry, it's time to erase it using this very big eraser. It's actually really easy to use. <laughs> Nice and clean. Okay, okay. And for the final step, we're going to be coloring it in using Copic markers. With a heavy heart, I would like to be using these Copic markers today. I know they're really expensive, but it's for the name of art. Breathe. Oh, and by the way, last time when I used Copic markers for my wall, a lot of people were concerned that I was going to bleed through this wallpaper and actually transfer it onto the wall. Don't worry, guys. So here's a sheet of the wallpaper that I just used to show you guys that it's going to be okay. Like, can you hear that squeaky sound? Basically, it's like drawing on top of a plastic. You can tell that it's not going through. It's like staying on top of the surface. And when I peel it, Nothing is bleeding through. I'm making this part really, really dense. That's a lot of ink. And still, nothing is going through. See, it's like magic. So now that's out of our concern. I think it's time. Hey guys, so a quick break. In my last video, I mean like my last, last video, I did a 24 hours challenge video and I told you guys that I will do it again if I get over 20,000 likes. And I did. And I also said that I'm going to draw your original characters for my next video, so... How should I do this? I'm currently thinking about you guys sending it to me through Instagram. I do check my Instagram messages, but I get a lot of messages every single day. So I'm so sorry I can't respond to you guys, but I am reading each and every one of them. So it'll be so great if you could send me your original characters to me through Instagram. Anyways, thank you guys so much and let's get back to the drawing. I'm going to start with the light color for his face. Remember how the wall doesn't absorb the ink? Normally, you mix a few Copic markers to blend it all in to make like a gradient effect. Copic markers are known for how gorgeous it blends, but I couldn't do that this time because it wasn't absorbing the ink like a normal paper, so I decided to go for a more bold, crisp anime style coloring technique. Also, the line smudges so bad when I go over it with the marker. The marker picks up the black ink really easily and the color becomes so muddy and everything that I had to leave a small gap in between. I couldn't color in the edges and that was a little annoying. And since there are so many lines inside the face, it was a little hard to draw in the small details. I really wanted to add in more colors, blending it in, maybe use different colors for each shadows. Like, you know, you use a more purpley color for shadows for the hair and stuff, but I just couldn't make that happen. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that this time I went for a more manga style Tanjiro with my style combined, as always. So, I know, I know, it's not completely like the original, but I really hope you understand. I also think I made him look a little too feminine. He's still 15 years old, still very young, and he's not muscular like a manly man, but I think I made him a little too soft, skinny. Just overall a bit feminine, so I guess that's something I could work on next time. The face and hair is done, let's move on to the body. Is it only me or it's so satisfying watching someone, or in this case, me, speed coloring a big space? Like I could just watch that forever. By the way, obviously I'm fast forwarding everything but it took forever to fill in the space. I mean, it's the whole body, and I think it took a few hours, my hand was getting so tired, and I currently have muscle pain in my arm. <laughs> oh my god, I need to work out. Let me go do some push-ups. Oh, and I only have like 2-3 to three greens. 
I need more greens. This was the best color I have, but it wasn't the same exact color. The other green is more like a deeper green, like a deep eucalyptus green, and that's not gonna work, so I chose this green over the other one, but I'm still very, very eager to expand my marker collection. So hopefully I could go out to buy more supplies after all this outbreak kind of settles down. Okay guys, I need a break. And if you look at the footage carefully, I mean, please don't. But if you do, you would see me looking up at the camera once in a while, and that's just me checking if the camera's still on. It sometimes shuts off, and I guess it's a very YouTuber thing to do. <laughs> just please don't mind me. And <gasps> we're almost done. I just need to fill in the smaller details, his hand, the katana, the earrings, and I think we're like 80% done. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm almost done. Like literally almost done. All I need to do is draw in the design for his clothes and do like the small details. And that's it. So let's power through this. So after a whole day, it turned out like this. Ta-da! A real life-sized anime character. Look, 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 look. This is how it looks right next to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so big. I've never drawn anything this big before. I mean, have you guys drawn any anime characters this big? I think overall, it turned out okay. You could kind of see that I was running out of ink. Like, this is my first block, but it looks so juicy. But this block is very sheer. I mean, I'm not gonna go out to buy new markers for this. <laughs> it was fun, actually. I may draw Nezuko right here on this side. Would you guys like that? Would you guys like to see Nezuko right here like this? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and please stay safe, guys. Let's all stay inside and draw with me. So I'll be back with a new video really soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.